Wayne Parrow here from Baseball Canada. Today we're going to talk about fly ball priority. A very basic system for fly ball priority is the highest position number usually has priority over who catches the ball. So for example, uh, shortstop position 6 over second base position 4. Some exceptions do exist, for example, in the outfield. Often you want your center fielder, who could be typically your best athlete out there, to catch or take priority on fly balls, unless, of course, it's extremely out of their range. Another exception on the infield. Pitchers are athletes, especially young pitchers, and we should encourage our pitchers to actually field fly balls. So this could be an exception where there's a, a fly ball out in front of home plate. It would probably be better for a pitcher to field that ball over a catcher. Okay. When do you call a fly ball? Typically you want your players to call the ball when it's at the highest point and just begins its ascent to earth again. What to say? Ball, 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 or I've got it. One mistake that a lot of young players will make is they give negative feedback in terms of you take it. Please discourage your players from giving that type of feedback. Okay. Let's talk about infielders and outfielders converging on a fly ball. Infielders should go out on every fly ball, calling the ball if they think they can get it, until they clearly hear an outfielder call them off. And then they should peel off in a safe manner and let the outfielder feel the ball. Coaches, it's extremely important that this is integrated into your practices and your players become comfortable with this during a game situation. Hope this tip is helpful. Good luck this season.